react these are boring dudes on here they want to do a reaction to when wanted criminals realize that they have been caught here we go I'm, I'm gonna walk you I'm, through. I'm, Why are you I'm, doing that? I know how to fill it out. Why are you doing that? I know how to fill it out. Right. Yeah. No, let's take a hit. Wanted criminals would do anything to stay off the police, but what happens when they are the ones calling the police attention to themselves? Today, we'll explore three cases of wanted criminals who were apprehended in the most unusual of ways, starting with Devonta Bradley, who was pulled over by the police on 23 June 2022. The deputies noticed that the vehicle hadn't been officially registered since January 2020. The officer approached the vehicle and asked the driver to end his phone call and provide his identity, but he wouldn't comply. Hey man, got your license proof insurance? You don't need to call her, hang up the phone for me. Hang it up. What's that? Hey, hey ma. Oh ma. I just got pulled over and we on the highway right now. I was coming back to come. Yes. I can't hear what she said. If he's, can I just talk to him? He's right here. You, he can hear you. Oh. I literally was about to come back and come grab you and the baby and go back home. That's where I was just coming. Yes, yeah, so, okay. He, he can hear you though, Ma. Oh, I just said, just let him know that he won't try to order the He can hear you. Talk to him. Yeah, that's what I'm stopping for. I saw the registration expired like two years ago. Okay, so somebody else is on it. All right, you got paperwork on it? Yeah, my ex-husband, yeah. You got paperwork or something on it? Hang up the phone, man. It's your traffic stop. I, 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 get, I get what's going on now, though. Paperwork in a car? Let's get an ID from you first. The officer asked Devonta to step out of the vehicle. As the officer wanted to approach him from the driver's side, you won't believe what he did next. Second 1040. How about for me, man? How about for me? Take a second 1040. He's taking off, taking off uh, westbound 16, taking off male black driver. The deputy chose not to chase after him. Later, the police found the vehicle at a Home Depot. After checking at a nearby hotel, they found Devonta and his passenger making calls before they left. The police contacted the original owner of the vehicle, who revealed little to no information about the driver. However, weeks later, the police contacted the owner again to speak to her about the case. Little were they expecting Devonta to answer the door, confirming him as the prime suspect in the high-speed escape case. Six oh seven. Give me a second. He attempted to flee through the side window. Six oh seven. I had one takeoff back in the house. He's locked inside. Everybody can respond. Ten forty. Um, just hold him perimeter for now. Yeah. Hey. Come on out here. Can you show me your other hand? Yeah. Come on out. Come on out. We want to talk to you about something. I, I, I am not the officer that's here that originally was at the window, or at the door. Come on, just come on over here for a second. I will be able to talk to you about that, but when you shut the door in our face... You, when you fled from us and you fled back into the apartment, we didn't know what to think. 611, I have contact. There's nothing to be scared about. Just, just, no, come on, look. No, not anymore. Look, I didn't know, I didn't know you had anything. On, I didn't know you had anything on you. I know. So let's talk about this, okay? The officers were able to convince Devonta to give himself up peacefully. I know, I know. So if you just go like this, put your hands, yeah, put your hands, yeah. hands, put your hands behind your back. Just, we're not no, no, no. You can, you can face me. No, no, Devonta, you're probably going to jail. We've already talked about that. Devonta, you have a you have a felony bail. So we gotta get it over with. We're not going away. Yeah, for sure. I got I got cigarettes in my car. 
I got cigarettes in my car. We'll let you smoke, but we're gonna put you in handcuffs. I'll light it for you. I got a, I got a lighter. Just, just relax. Devonte, I'm gonna walk a little closer towards you. Okay, you hear me? I'm gonna walk a little closer towards you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab your arm. Okay, I'm gonna put it behind. I'm not gonna hurt you. No one's hurting you. Put your hand behind you. Yep, we're gonna. Is this your mom? He'll hold, he'll hold the phone. He'll hold the phone to mom. Hold it for Can I cut it off? No, you, you, you can, you can right. sit, you can stand there. No, we'll talk to mom. I'm gonna cut it off, mom. It's okay, mom. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna. No, nope. I want it on. I want it on. It's okay. Keep it on. Leave it on. Leave it on. She wants it on. I'll hold it for you. I'll hold it for you. She wants it on. Okay, your call. Ma, I'm about to cut it off. Okay. No, don't cut it off. She doesn't want it off. Just, just hand we'll, it over. We'll keep it on. Devante, just keep hand it over. He wants to see her again. Yeah, he doesn't want her to see her again. Okay, I get that. I get it. So here's the deal. We're gonna put you in handcuffs right now. Okay. Hey, good, okay, good job. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll go right out. Yep. We'll go right out. Why don't you smoke that cig right away? Do you want me to answer it or no? No. Okay. So I'm not going to phone with you. Yep. Yeah. I'm just letting you go. Oh. We're going to take it with you. We're going to take it with you. Hold up. Here you go. There you go. You said you didn't want to answer it. He just put it in my pocket, please. I'm gonna take everything off. He's gonna take. He's gonna take it in his car. I'll put it in. After being taken into custody, the man was noticeably trembling throughout the entire process. In an attempt to calm his nerves, the officer gave him a cigarette. Yep, and you can see it. Was that your mom or? No, Should we tell her that you're just going down the jail, or does she know? Does she know how to get a hold of Cross County Jail? Yeah. Okay. So. When you get there, you'll be able to make, you can call her, she can call you. Otherwise, we can call her, I can call her from my phone, it doesn't have to be from your phone, if you know her number or anything like that, and I can tell her that's where you're going. Yeah, and everything's good, and we're just gonna go down there and... That you're safe, okay? We're not, we're not looking to hurt anyone or anything like that, Devante. That's not any of the situation. I know, I know that some of the stuff maybe was, seemed a little different when you first answered the door, you said that you thought he was coming in, but when you shut the door on us, we, we, we don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I know. No, I know. I know. And that's, that's where the communication maybe was, was needs to be there. You just want to mash it for you? I'm going to count this in front of you so we're on the same page, okay? Do you know how much is there? 10-4, that'll be handy. You can go with the update info. He was taken to the police station. He faces multiple serious charges, including two counts of felony, eluding an officer, and two counts of bail jumping. In addition, he's currently involved in five other ongoing legal cases, which include various felonies, such as assaulting an officer, cocaine possession, and child enticement. His bail was set at $1,000. But if you think the cases of crazy wanted criminals ended here, have you seen a wanted man calling the police on somebody else? In Kennesaw, Georgia, 24-year-old Antoine Sims called police after he said he was served cold food at a McDonald's on Cobb Parkway in Kennesaw. Officers arrived at the restaurant on Friday, August 5th in response to the business dispute. Nothing prepares them for what they're about to discover. What's up? Uh, basically, we went in there, purchased some food. Um, I guess there's something wrong with their server. A lady right. before tried to order on a little box thing. She All said right. that wasn't working. He had to stop us from ordering and go help her. Okay. So it's, he probably frustrated at work. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's the whole scenario. Okay. What I do. So why'd y'all call? So like what happened? Because we ordered the food. Um, he couldn't print us a receipt. Okay. Um, so he said the receipt would be printed in the back. So I okay. said, okay. So we sat down, me and my fiance looking for homes around here. Gotcha. So we uh, went back to Progressive Rentals looking at homes. Uh -huh. um, I guess our order was called. But we don't even know our order number. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now our food is sitting there closed. So when I come up, I say, you know, I try to fry the fries. Or they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just ask him, can we get some fresh, fresh fries? Okay. He said, okay, the fries are not hot. Touch the fries. I said, no, they're not hot. And at this point, you don't touch them. So, you know, yeah, yeah can I just get a fresh set? Okay. So he's getting the fries. And I said, can I also get the receipt? That was five minutes ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, excuse me, sir. Five minutes ago, I can I can run my store however I want to run my store. Okay. This now. Sir, okay. I didn't pay. He said, matter of fact, you can leave my property. Get off my property now. Or you can come and get, uh, I'll do a refund. I said, sir, with, with um, cash up card, it's three to seven business days to do a refund. Just give me my set of fries and my receipt. That's what you're supposed to do anyway when I pay for my order. Okay. 
this is not my my story. He told me this is his business. He owns this. Like it's not that deep. We just okay. need the fries and the burger. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? No, sir. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to get your information. Okay. The police collected his information and then proceeded to talk to the store owner, who explained what had happened. Somewhere I don't want I don't want us to be outside talking. Right, we can talk right here. We can go inside. It don't matter. So what happened? Okay. So break it down for me. What happened? He insists that he's all his food is cold. Okay. He's burning my hands. So whatever. That's oh. you know not you know doesn't really matter. Okay. Took another next almost starts cussing cuss me. You better give me fresh fries, mother. Mm -hmm. like, what? Here's a little old lady, and she just came up to us and she didn't even talk to the police. It's like, no, nah, nah, yeah, I got this. But he starts losing it, starts shoving his food at me. Mm -hmm. And I said, sorry. He said, I said, well, but, but, tell you what, you can take your business elsewhere and give me a car, give me a refund. No, I'm, you're not going to give me an effort refund. You're going to give me a and my money back. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, so look, sir. And he started shoving his food. I took his food. Took that nothing to shove at me, because the next thing you know, he's throwing his drink at me. Mm -hmm. So I took his food, took it, took a spray, threw it in the trash. Here's your, your, give me your card, give me your refund, take your business elsewhere. Please don't come back. Okay. All right, so here's the deal. As a business owner, he has the right to not remake your food. He is willing to do a refund. He has no problems doing a refund, but he's not going to remake your food. As business owner, he can do that. Um, he does not want you coming back in the store. He actually wants us to criminally trespass you, so you will not be allowed back at this McDonald's. I don't even stay here. I keep. It doesn't matter. He's requested it. We got to do it. It's not a big deal. It's a they piece of. Charge no, we're not charging. It's a piece of paper we're going to give you that's going to say, "Hey, you can't come back to this McDonald's." That's all it is. Wow. Like, yeah. No, just like just realistically, did I do anything? I don't know. I, I'm not here to even figure that out. I'm here to I'm here to keep the peace. Yeah, this is completely civil. So yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. No, no, I don't want to complain about it. Um, no, no. So I just I'm just don't understand what I did wrong. With this. No, you're good. Um, do you have CT forms? Okay, I have CT forms. That's fine. Um, it's not a big deal. So look, all right. So this is civil, okay. As a business owner, he has the right to refuse service to anyone he chooses to refuse service to. Just like if you owned a business, you have the same right to do the same thing. Exactly. If you owned a physical business, like you didn't have a, you can CT, you can CT whoever the hell you want. You can do whatever, as long as it's within the law, and that's within the law. Okay. All right. So hang out with him. I'm gonna get that form. It's a simple form that says, "Hey, just don't come back to this McDonald's." Now I'll tell you, if you do come back to this McDonald's when no, we get no, caught no, out here, no, no, no. you go to jail. I'm not. All right. I'm not. I, I got a smart. So. Um, you cool with the refund? Uh, yeah, so okay. I just gotta go in okay. there and tap my car. Yeah, I will get that in just a second, okay? Okay. This man didn't know he'd successfully put himself in trouble. First, the store owner will not be arrested, and the police now forbids him from going back to the store. Little did he know that that was the least of his problems. The police ran his details through their database, and you won't believe what unfolds next. Wanted person, caution. License status, suspended, 24-year-old male, wanted person, caution, violence, armed and dangerous. 11-16, suspended, 24-year-old male. What's your ETA? Ten four six two Kennesaw. It looks like we just found the same ID. You go ahead and confirm that. Turns out Sims was one of three suspects charged with a felony for the murder of a woman. He was arrested in Wisconsin in 2019, but got out on bond. And now he's wanted because he refused to show up at the police station after his bond. On top of that, his license has expired. The police immediately requested other units while he proceeded to interrogate him. And when he finally realized he would be arrested, he did what many criminals would do. All right, spell your um, last name for me. S-I-M-E-S. -E okay. Um, where's your driver's license out of? No, I don't have it. Okay. I think my mother's name. Okay. S-I-M-E-S, spell your first name again. A-N-T-O-I-N-E. O-I-N-E. N A O I N E O I N E. So I'm basically just banned from here. Correct. Not Kennesaw. Um. 
his name, their name? I can't remember yeah, him. So he's got new form, so I don't remember. Yeah, his name here, and then the manager's name. That's what I thought. So he's the manager or somebody else? He's, uh, he's, the, owner. he's the owner. So that's why he feels like it. Yeah. Okay, I said if you want to take any higher, you call four Yeah. Nah, this is just 10, 10 books. I don't know. I don't know yet. Man, it's beaming, man. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. the shades. Authorized representative of. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. What's the address here? Oh. Sorry, damn it. What's the address? So, uh, there's possibly a 1099. Uh, 2049 Cobb Parkway. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You got it. Give me a second. Excuse me, sir. So there's no stickies or nothing like that? No. no. So, so what, the way the for it, it. Yeah, no. Um, I'm going to get him to fill this out. Yeah, just, you know, whatever. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, Mr. Sims, come over here. I'm going to have you sign this. I'm not under arrest or anything, am I? No, sir. Huh? Just come over here. I'm going to have you sign this real quick. I said I'm not under arrest or anything. No, no, you're not. Yeah, just come over here. I'm going to have you sign this real quick. You have to sign it saying that you're going yeah. to come back to the property. So you'll fill this part out. Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Will you come over here, man? No, I'm, I'm afraid of y'all, sir. Why are you afraid? I've three years, sir. All right, you, I'm I'm gonna walk you I'm, through. I'm, Why are you I'm, doing that? I know how to fill it out. Why are you doing that? I know how to fill. Am I all right? right? Yeah. No, let's make it here. The officers chased to a nearby apartment complex where they deployed a taser to subdue and apprehend him. And now, he's back in jail to serve his term. This man is so dumb. I mean, how often do you see a wanted man calling the police? But if you think that's very unusual, wait for this man. He's been wanted for close to 30 years. How they caught him will shock you. On Tuesday 16, 2022, two deputies were on patrol at Oconee County, east of Atlanta, checking out random vehicle registrations. They pulled over a car flagged for expired registration and license. These deputies are completely clueless about who they just stopped. What's your What's your last name? Sakim. Sakim. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have you go and step out the vehicle for me. She's gonna come and get me. Yeah. So you're about 57 minutes away from me. I was almost at the hospital. All right. Okay. Take this off. Um. Just uh. Yeah. Just tell me what the information you put in your in your GPS, because that way I didn't go. I don't know the name of this place right we'll, here. We'll, we'll get it figured out. We'll text it to you. It's Prince Avenue. It's All right, Prince so here, here's what's going to happen, Sakim, okay? Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to place you into custody today, okay? You're going to go down to jail. Oh, no. you got to get booked in. I'm going to take your fingerprints and picture, and you'll get a bond. But because you're driving on suspended license, you've got to go down to jail. Sir, I did not know. I have children. I have a sick uncle, and I run the household. I got you. No, I really don't. You don't have a choice at this please, time. Please, please, please. Please, Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind your back, please. Please, put, please, please, please. put your hands behind your back. Who set your phone up on the car? They put me under arrest right now. They, I don't know. For driving with suspended license? Driving suspended license. I didn't know. And, 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 it's, and it's not even showing. Unfortunately, the law is different here in Georgia than it is in South Carolina. If you have a suspended license, you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Okay, but, but sir, can you speak to my aunt? She has yeah, we're on speakerphone. She okay, please, yeah. no, please speak to her. Please, please speak to her. I'm the only one that can help with my uncle that's sick in ICU right now. I'm sorry about that. 
What's up? What's up? Please, uh, you're driving a car without valid insurance. My son. Oh, got, you got that yes, taken care of. You you're already driving a car without valid insurance. I won't drive. Registration. My cousin. You can't trust my, you to drive. To drive no, I swear to you, I'll walk away from my car. So we're going to walk you back to this please, other car. Please, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to walk you to my daughter's car. Come on. Sir. Come on. My aunt is old. She's 80 years old. Sir, please. I, I will not. I swear, you please check me. Okay. Please check uh, everything on me. I'm going to search you into your arrest. Huh? See what's this emergency 911? Yeah. Face towards that. Okay. Sir. Separate your feet out okay, a little sir. bit. Yeah. Nothing in your pocket, right? Sir, sir, please. please. What all do you need out of your pocket? Sir, I have a child at the house that they cannot take care of. I what have, all do you need out of your car? Sir. I beg you. I what? beg of you all. I will not touch my car. You will take my keys out. What all do you need out of your car? Uh, I don't need, I need uh, family. That's it. Hey, well, I do for my entire car. So I do for my... Sit for it. I'll go for it. I do a seat for me. Sir, I Please explain to turn and face towards me and then sit down in the seat. Slide into the plate zone. Sir, I do for my entire family. Okay. Well, do I you know I'm... Seat. I don't have a choice here, man. I'm telling you. That's, I, that's I told you job. I was not going to get in my car. I don't swear have a to you, choice. I wasn't going to get in you my car. You have a suspended car. license. You're driving a car without insurance. You've got that taken care of. I've been of. doing it every you day. You suspended registration. <laughs> you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Just take your photograph. They're going to take your fingerprints. They'll give you a bond amount. You can bond out, and then you can get on the way up to the hospital. But you can't drive. Sir. I, I so have a seat for okay, me, please. Okay. May I speak after you? Have a seat for me. Are you going to sit see? down, and then I'll listen to you. Okay, so what do, you, what do you want to tell me? On, on everything, my aunt just had a stroke. My uncle just had a stroke two and a half weeks ago. I'm here helping my family. Oh, I don't even know who can come and bond me out. I don't even know who can come and bond me out. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a crook. I'm, if you, I look how old you, I am. Did you get a ticket or something? I didn't get take care of? I, I mean, don't. Why would they suspend your license in South Carolina? That's, I just found out speaking to the deputy. Yeah. I just found out that maybe when we had a car that I had that got repossessed, that yeah. I didn't take my name off of it. Okay. Um, I, mean, I, I wouldn't imagine that they'd suspend you for a repossession. But that's what I'm saying. I did. I don't. But but it's no no information is coming up. I won't drive. I will, I'll have my cousin. Can you slide your legs in for us. You're not going to speak to me. No, unfortunately, I told you. I've already explained my position. To you. Oh, this hurts. I don't have a choice. This man looks too responsible and compliant for a criminal. He is so pitiable. The police felt for him, but they had to do their jobs. He was eventually taken to the police station. Sir, I have, uh, Sir. Okay, so the way you're sitting right now is not a good position. You're a tall guy. you got long legs. Can you slide your knees over this way and sit at an angle? You gotta move your knee. My, 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 this is really tight on my wrist. Okay, I'll check it right now. I'm gonna come to the other side. Watch your knee. Uh, oh. So, Kim, I'm putting your headphones in your little black pouch. Man, y'all really, y'all gotta please make sure my eye is okay. She's 80 years old. Do you need anything outside of your car? Um, just just know that. I, can you speak to my aunt? She just on the other Uh. Just just speak to my aunt because I do everything for the house. I okay. Shop. I, I do everything. My son is there. He's only 13 years old. He doesn't not he does not know what's going on. This is this is. I don't. Can you let my cousin know wherever it is I'm going? Can you let them know where it is going? Yeah. So when you get there, you'll be able to call him. How, how can I call him? When you when they book you in, they'll give you some phone calls, so you can call him. Yeah, All right. Yes, because I, I don't. Yeah. Why? I thought she was gonna let me just let my cousin pick me up. Why did this happen? I'm I'm so sorry. People, deputy, so many people rely upon me. You do not know. You can look. You can get in and get out. All right. I can get in and get out. Yeah, like they'll book you in. If you have somebody that can bond you out, you have a preset bond, so you can bond out of jail. You don't have to wait to see a judge. Well, how much is that? Uh, I'm not quite sure. They'll give it to you when we get there. Okay. We'll work with you. All right. We'll try to get you out as quick as possible. Yeah, this is my uncle is sick. All right, well, the quicker we get to jail, the quicker you can get out, okay? Doors are all locked, all the windows are up. 
Alright, cool. What? what is it? I've never been to tell the mic. Okay, alright. It'll be fine, I promise. Alright. Alright, we gotta get you to the jail. All right. The police got to the station and ran his fingerprint in their database. His name came out as Muhammad Bilal El Amin, a man who'd been running from an Atlanta police for allegedly shooting his friend Jafford Tucker in southwest Atlanta on November 27, 1994. He faced four counts, including felony murder, and for the first time since 1994, Jafford's family will be relieved knowing that their son's murderer will finally get what he deserves. If you'd love more crime stories, do like and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications too. Bye for now. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.